Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Paladin channel. That looks kind of cool. Is it a print or a painting? Hmm. Ooh. That feels like a painting. Hmm. Okay. I'm digging it. It's quite artsy. Is it going to fit into the truck? Yes. Yeah. Can't tell if they're metal. I think they are. Yay. Take a quick gander. What? That's metal. That's actually nice. Ooh. What? Is that a printer? I can't even tell. These are kind of cool. Welcome to the hoarding channel. Back on track. It's not helium. I thought it was. All right. <laughs> Lift with the leg. something in there. Nothing. saw this driving past. Illuminati? Yep. What is up, my brother? Yeah, you know this guy? The scrap and pellet man. <laughs> What's up, doing, man? man? Where you, how you been? Awesome, so you're done with your summer vacation? I mean, winter vacation? Yeah. You got okay. any scrap metal you need to get rid of? This is your guy. Not today. <laughs> Just bring it out to the curb. We'll get it. I'll start bringing it home then for you. All right. Oh, yeah. Cool, man. The truck got tons. All right. Yeah, yeah. Anytime. Right there on the curb. We we zip through the neighborhoods all the time. Yeah. Nice so. truck for doing what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's 11 years old. You know? Right. <laughs> yeah. It's like mine. But it here's like the thing. It's 50 years old, but. <laughs> is it? Oh, it looks 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I'll see you later. So what's up, bro? Oh, just surviving. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm digging out my driveway right now. Okay. So is your garage done yet? No. Okay. You have to come check it out sometime. Or are you waiting for the final product? No, I'll come check it out. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Well, I was off on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but lately I've been working. You know. Okay. So, but I, uh, in between severe thunderstorms. Dude, you know. last night was horrible. Oh yeah. It was, I mean, just torrential downpour. And then yet, see, because I wanted to do an evening scrap last night, just dry, because Friday is such a big garbage day for the whole yeah. area. Um, no way. Yeah. Lightning, thunder, wind, just, and the sheer amount of rain. Yeah. Wow. It, it seems like there's no such thing as just a rain anymore. It's either a severe thunderstorm, tornado, or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you get. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we get, man. But yeah, I was out there with my shovel digging away and it started lightning. I'm like, mm. man, I only got like 15 more minutes. Yeah. I'm like, just stay over there. <laughs> it's funny. It, it's like in the movies, you hear the, the, the thunder and then it immediately starts to rain. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. What? 
How, how does it know? And then we get the hurricane sideways wind too. Ugh. So I was just out there like, yo, blowing over. Yeah. It's like, you got scrap for me? Oh Bro. Go. Look at that. You ask and you shall receive. Thank you. <laughs> got a little bit too, but it's small stuff, man. Okay. My, my guy, he doesn't uh, have his spot in town anymore. He used to have trailers. Yeah, yeah. In a parking lot. Anybody in the community just would just go drop stuff off anytime they wanted to. Okay. So I just got a bunch of like a little small stuff, but he has me dump in the back of his truck in his bed. Right, so right. It'd be little screws and stuff. Uh, because then they just put the magnet over the top and they just suck everything out. Yeah. So. I've done that one time, but it, uh, it was just, it seemed too risky with the yeah. electronics of the truck and things like that. I don't see so. how they don't pick up the what truck with that thing. A ton out here. Um, uh, about 11 cents a pound. So uh, 220 a ton. So 215. That's see, I think it's one that goes to over in Aurora. Right. They're paying like 160, 140 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's all clear cutoff sheets because we build the chutes to go into the compactors all of that. Okay. Nice, nice steel, you know what I mean? It's getting hardly nothing for it. Wow. It's crazy. Especially clean steel like that, you should be getting like 250 a ton. You know, because I'm yeah. giving I'm giving them stuff, you know, like appliance shredder scrap. You know, that's plastic and junk on it, but it has to go through the shredder. So there's an extra process. You'd think that it'd be cheaper, you know, but it's not, so. No. All right, well, yeah, thanks for giving me the scrap. I appreciate it, man. No yeah. Mm. All right, I'm gonna get rolling, bro. Right, hey, right, man. good talking to you, man. Have a good day. I'll let you know sometime when I'm off, see if you wanna swing out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I'll give you the nickel tour, man. Seriously, dude, that garage looks amazing. Yeah, we're, ho we're, hoping, to, we're hoping to get the driveway. How tall is the, um, is the, the garage door? A uh, 10. Oh, wow. It's 10 by 10, so yeah. Okay. You can land a small airplane in there. Right on. <laughs> I'll see you. All right, man, have a good one. That's not metal. But this certainly is. This will work. Yeah. I don't know why I even look, because I know that they, these folks are awesome. They put their scrap metal on the curb. Sweet. Primo. Do I lift it up or do I use the lift gate? It's a plastic. That's that's metal. I'll think about that option of picking it up or not. Oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> I haven't heard or thought about that in 35 years. Huh. All right, let's 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 do a happy medium. So I don't have to pick it up quite as far. Beyond cool. Man, I <laughs> drove right past this. I'm not really sharp this morning. All right, refocus. We need to be the scrap guru. Hey, that's good romaine lettuce down there. That's the good lettuce. thinking about that lettuce I'm like hmm might not be so bad green leafy vegetables I'm starting out starting to like them hey can I get it yay it's in the back of the truck for far too long this metal was so sad thinking it was going to the landfill we're gonna get turned into a car door. Got like 
45 of these at my house. Ooh, a sink that's still in the countertop. I don't know if I can get that. Oh, you know what? I'll bet I can. I'm going to need to just use my pliers and twist it. I'll bet that'll work. I normally don't like doing this in front of someone's house. Oh, it clips torment. Yeah, I guess they do twist. Cool. Hmm. hmm. It's a particle board. <laughs> just really hmm. but I can just kick it out huh you know what I bet it will all right I normally don't do this sorry guys no I don't want to start breaking stuff like breaking their garbage can that's already cracked working out. couple of these I think it'll come out okay so that one got moved uh oh here comes the G-man just add a little bit of pressure oh. Oh. <laughs> nope that didn't work Nope. Hey, hey. Trying to get the metal. What? Trying to get the metal. Hmm. Nope. There's some copper. Uh, I found a few, yeah. I was trying to get here before you did. <clears throat> All right, I'm just gonna take the whole thing then. <sighs> I'll just grab the whole thing. That's my old landlord. You know what? It's coming out. There it is. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Right. I'll give you a hand. If you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, you too. So 
sometimes I can tell when someone's heart is in the right spot, you know, for recycling. But, yeah. Uh oh, Here comes a car. Oh, these don't twist. Bringing out their their scrap. Wishful thinking. Yeah, sixty-five cents a pound. I got uh, last weekend, last Saturday, for these cords. I need to be super fast. But shark, it's gonna be shark without a cord. Here. Sun's coming out just a little bit. Any chances of copper? Oh. I see no cover. Bummer, man. Walking the dog. That is beyond cool. So in this neighborhood is, yeah, you can see all the blooming trees. And that's, that's kind of why I, I want to mention, there's a pear tree up here that in previous videos, I've eaten the pear right off of the tree. I, I talked to the lady that owns the house and uh, yeah, I got, I wasn't feeling very anxious that day and I actually knocked on the door and she said, you can have as many pears as you want. <laughs> I thought that was cool because it was, it was during the fall and the pears are just falling on the ground. And so I just thought I'd, I would ask, are you turning? You are turning. All right. So, oh, here's the pear tree right here. So let me show you the pear tree real quick. Uh, oh, I think this guy's, hey, what's going on? Uh, anything metal? Yeah, anything metal or like car batteries or wire or pipe? Well, you got something? Okay. Actually, I know where he came out. But yeah, so that's the pear tree and it, it's blooming. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the bloom? Yeah, all right. We gotta follow him. <laughs> Don't have to, but I'm going to. Uh oh, I'm low on gas. Yeah, we're back to the same spot. Yeah, I think he actually got in his car to come chase me down. Here is the risk I always uh, face: um, is someone might say, "Hey, I got this freezer, but it's down in the basement, and you gotta cut it up." Or, um, you know, something along the lines of it's a problem item and it's not that valuable to me. Uh, and then I feel obligated because I'm like right there, you know. But uh, we shall see. Man was upset that I was parked on the wrong side of the street. He says they work. Upgrade. Oh. Pulling up to a dumpster. No way. Fiber optic? No, it's not. But it's something strange. Huh. Yeah, it's not Romex. What is it? I have a feeling it's steel. So let's pop the old magnet. It's not steel. Huh. 
I'm not, I'm not convinced what it is. Could be extra insulated, but a small gauge copper wire. Yeah, there's copper in there. But it's super hard. Yeah, that's extra insulation. Hmm. Copper bearing material. Get in my truck. Yeah, that's some strange stuff. I, I've never seen it this rigid before. All right. Um, it's Maxi Rainmaster two wire Rojas. Uh, yeah, it's for direct bearing. So you can put this in the ground, they're saying. Oh, that piece is stripped, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Oh, man, I'm going to have a mess here, aren't I? So instantly copper wire that can be buried. Huh. Okay. <laughs> the one carried that piece of trash back into the dumpster. Hmm. You're no good. You're no good. You know. Yeah, you got something. I mean, they'll pay for it somewhat. But I... Hey, Dent. Now, this is a golf course here. So I imagine someone might be bold enough to say, hey, that stuff belongs in the landfill. How dare you? <laughs> I don't know. It's my imagination. Is that true? Not necessarily. Palette Man colors. Have you guys noticed I have new merch? I have some Scrap and Palette Man hats. I have some scrap. That. Very wet. Well, that can get washed. <laughs> I have uh, new short sleeve shirts because summertime's coming. Also, I got a text from my church. I said, hey, you got some, some stage lights if you want to come scrap them. I said, sure. Someone meet them in a few minutes. Actually, I got a few minutes to, to kill. Oh yeah, I, don't, I didn't show you this. So that guy gave me one, two, three, four, five lap six laptops another laptop back there and like three computers so i have a, oh yeah and two um monitors and he says they work he said one of them has a pixel issue he doesn't remember which one so i will uh bring those to my house just uh kind of double check and see what uh that was a strip to see which ones work and then um, I have an e-waste guy now, so whatever doesn't work or I can give to the e-waste guy. It's been stripped out. Yeah, I think I'm about done here. Oh. These have definitely wire in them. Cool. All right, let's go hit the church. The church, I just happened to glance down this cul-de-sac I saw a bike. It's a Schwinn. It's a decent one too. That's my kind of Schwinn. Is uh, one that you can sit upright and you're not like bent over like a racing bike. Dude. Huh. So 
it looks like it's a five speed or a six speed because it has one sprocket up front and then one, two, three, four, five. Maybe six, I can't tell. Yeah, this is not getting scrapped. Nope. See, this is something I would ride because it's, oh yeah, it has beach cruiser wheels on it. Thank you, you're awesome. Where are you going, right here? Wow, this is not one of those light racing bikes. Ah, oh, I see why there's low scraps out on the curb right now. My buddy's been out doing his scrapping at night. I'm not sure if the scrap is in the shack or coming out of the hub entrance over there. We shall see. Man, it temperature has dropped. It doesn't feel like it, but it's like in the 50s. It's supposed to be a high in the 40s this weekend. What is up, man? There's one car. Is it over here or in the shack? All right, cool. Let's grab it. Cool, man. Look at you, man. Uh, sugar, sugar, sugar free. <laughs> sugar yeah, yeah, free I man. am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it is it tough? I have a sweet tooth. Is it tough? No, not at all. It's really? it's it's un. It, I don't even notice it. I heard that if you go, uh, if you cut down like carbon sugar, like the first week or so. Oh yeah. You're tired and you start withdrawal. I I had um, three days of that, so they call it the keto flu. Absolutely, oh, okay. it it truly is a, uh, a just like um, withdrawal, yeah, just like drug withdrawal. Then so af afterwards, what your energy gets back or something? Completely, yeah. It's um, what happens is that uh, the body starts burning ketones instead of glucose. Well, there's always a mixture of of ketones and glucose in the body, but man of God, right there. Yeah. So he. Uh, <laughs> these old lights um they, they're uh they're old school lights that just have a power that on and off and they don't uh work with their computer system it, it's not a smart system so they changed them out uh, these are i don't know 15 years old or so 20 years old um they're aluminum stuff but i think yeah i think i might upgrade my basement music room a little bit with some can lighting <laughs> oh my goodness paul computer 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 oh, there was another laptop yeah that one i'm gonna pull this up front he says that this printer works one of the teenagers at home wants a printer i have a printer um but they um they actually write stories and stuff they're so artsy they write stories all the time um i'm always printing up multiple pages 15 pages every week of stories that they write um you know in addition to the music that they make so do i go to my shop take off all the stuff that's not steel and then go to the scrap yard or do i go to the scrap yard pick through everything and toss off what uh, is steel and then go to the shop I don't know I guess it's six in one half a dozen in the other okay <laughs> his phone's ringing he has an old school phone HP computers, Toshiba, Acer, and Asus. Yeah, very different. All right. Let's see if any of these turn on. I doubt it they do. Where's the power button on this one? I don't see it. Turn it on the side. The bottom. I don't know. Hmm. 
power button. I'm just curious. Is that a power button? Yeah, none of them are turning on yet. Yeah, these are all going to go to my e-waste guy, probably. Not the power buttons. Yeah, there's a side power button. I think. Wow, that's actually a disc in that. Interesting. Yeah, none of these are powering up. But it looks kind of cool. <laughs> Whoa. All right, he says that they work. One of them has a pixel issue. So I'll probably have to take it to my house. But hopefully this is the one that works. This curvy one. That's kind of cool. XPS. It's a Windows Vista. Or all right, so that's 15 years old. Um, yeah, 20 maybe. All right, so three tower type. Yeah, so and this, this was in the car too, or in my truck too. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven laptops and three computers. So this is an HP, a power brick. Where's that HP? There's one, there's two. It's a ProBook Windows 7. This one is Windows XP. Yeah, these are... XP was, what, 2000? So 23 years old? <laughs> yeah. My kid really irritated me the other day. He's like, hey, <laughs> hey, Dad, you remember 2003, you know, 20 years ago? So that computer guy gave me some rotors. They're brand new. I don't know. I've never seen a brand new rotor before, I don't think. Yeah, these are considered autocast. So, man, I got quite a mess going here. Also, that computer guy, I didn't show it on camera, two batteries. I think these are motorcycle batteries or moped batteries or something like that. And of course, the find of the day is this Schwinn made in Taiwan. Cool. Huh. The chain broken? I don't think so. Yeah, I think it just needs to get put back on. Hmm. All right, bear with me here. Try not to put myself in the emergency room. Oh. Okay. Huh. I'm getting grease on my gloves. No way. Uh oh. Came back off. I wonder if the sprocket is bent. Could be. on it. Oh, okay, I think that might have been the issue. So you need to get back onto that sprocket. Where's the gear shifter thinger? Right here. All right, that should work. Oh, 
we go. Yeah. Cool. It's working. Keep my fingers away from this stuff. Yeah. Cool. Does the brake work? Yep. All right. A little adjusting there. And got a beach cruiser. I'm cracking myself up here. I don't have much room. So I'm going to bring a piece of this to the scrapyard just to see how much it goes for. I'm also curious about these lights, stage lights. Where, is there an on off button or there's automatically on? Yeah, there's automatically on. Hey. What's going on over here? Hey, you. You with the copper. Yeah, I think I have like six or eight of these stage lights. Yeah, I don't think this weighs very much at all. Oh, I brought a piece of this, yeah. I need to remember. I'm gonna put this right here so I remember. Maybe I won't, but I'm hoping that helps me remember to ask Michael what they will pay for, I don't know, 20 pounds of that I got, 15 pounds of it, something like that. Um, well, I'm hoping 6,900. Not even close. 6,640. Not even close. Okay, so maybe twenty a twenty dollar bill. But I got a lot of good stuff though. Hmm. Oh, he's using the craw to grab the stuff off the trailer. That's good. I'm gonna have to wait. That or I can just walk the stuff over there, I guess. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like aluminum. Oh well, it's gonna go in the shred pile regardless. Bush it. All right, dudes out of the way. might not even be 20 bucks now that I've looked at it a little further a little bit of helium Should have backed up farther. Okay, that 
that goes to the sink. What's up, man? Good. what he was doing but it was looked fun how about that stainless steel yep it is a stainless steel that doesn't require to be cleaned up unlike that stove a bunch of bolts get paid. Whoa, see that? He's sweeping up with that. Can you see that? Facing the wrong direction. Is that the name of a band? Wrong direction. And thank you for reminding me. All right, so Romex is about a dollar a pound. I'm gonna say. 50 cents a pound or even less, 40 cents a pound. That's my guess. What's up, Eric? Good, man. Got a strange question. I found about 20 pounds of this funny Romex. Um, it's a super hard plastic. And I just want to know what kind of price you guys are willing to pay for some strange Romex. All right, and I don't have it with me right now, just for the next time. All right, come on. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, we're gonna pray.
thank you God for this day. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for being amazing. Thank you for everything that you do for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hmm. So we can go over some prices right now. 240 pounds. I got 25 bucks. Cool. Okay, so this right here, mm -hmm. it's uh, aluminum. It is? Yeah, it's okay. copper plated. All right. So this is going 12 cents a pound. Okay, cool, man. Thank you. All right. All right. See you later. Cool, so aluminum. What is this? That's some good old scrap. Huh. Yeah, I'll bet he's right. You know what? Now they look look more. Here, let's get the light. Yeah, I think he's right. Good stuff. Thanks for hanging out with me. Just be awesome. Stay awesome. Do your thing. Be you. Let it build up till it's filled up. Only real love, cause we're the real ones. Let it build up till it's filled up. Only real love, cause we the real ones. One man's trash is another man's treasure. From then to now, thank God it got better. One man's trash is another man's treasure. From then to now, thank God it got better.